this Adam Driver haircut. They're fucking with us, right? You can tell we're not supposed to take this movie seriously because the main character has a Lloyd Christmas haircut. But it's also the Julius Caesar haircut, like the Romans. Nope, Lloyd Christmas, that's what it is. Mr. Francis Ford Coppola. I see what you're doing, and I don't fucking like it. <sighs> okay, um... Well, in the future, Adam Driver works for the Design Authority, or he runs the Design Authority. He's a visionary and an inventor, and he wants to design and create the city for the future. Gus Fring is the mayor of this city, New Rome, and he hates Adam Driver, and he wants to stop him from creating the city of the future. And then there's a bunch of Rome references, and some sexy stuff, and... Adam Driver is this dude Caesar. Just, it's a little on the nose, huh? And he wants to create this utopia for humanity using this magic metal that he invented called Megalon. <laughs> He's cheesy as fuck in this. You can even see him cracking a smile every once in a while at his own performance. You know he's just being directed by Francis Ford Coppola and he's just like, what are we doing here? There's a ton of other big names in this, uh, but most of the characters are just whatever. Nathalie Emmanuel, she's whatever. John Voight, he's whatever. Kind of funny, but still whatever. A great example is Jason Schwartzman. He's like the assistant of the mayor. He's just there to look funny. That's it. He stands there and puts his hands on his hips and goes, and I'm just curious how much he was paid to do that. However, the shining stars in this pile of dog shit are Shia LaBeouf and Aubrey Plaza. You just know that they read this horrendous script and they went, oh hell yeah, I know exactly what's up. They took every line of theirs and they just played it way over the top. And they did so much better than every other actor in this. Because I swear, they were the ones that knew exactly what this is. Shia LaBeouf actually made me laugh out loud a few times. If you do decide to go see this, look forward to his performance, okay? This movie is horrendous. It's a dumpster fire full of shit. The tone of the acting is all over the place. The script doesn't really tell a story at all. There's this disjointed messaging everywhere. The dialogue is actually laughable, and this entire thing as a whole is just batshit craziness. I know there's going to be some people out there, probably critics, that are going to try and rationalize this shit. Just so that they can say, oh, you don't get it. It's cinema. Guess what? You're full of shit. Because I figured out what this actually is. Francis Ford Coppola made The Godfather. A lot of people believe that that is the greatest movie ever made. I wouldn't argue with that. Obviously, that also includes Godfather 2. Francis Ford Coppola made Apocalypse Now. A lot of people would consider that the greatest movie ever made. I think that after years and years of hearing that he's made the greatest films of all time, he sat back and took a minute and thought, but what if I made the worst movie of all time? The only award that Mr. Coppola doesn't have is a Razzie. So he wrote this pile of trash knowing that there's no studio that would buy it. Funded it himself, just so he could make it exactly how he wanted to. No studio head to get in his way and stop him from making this clusterfuck. I think he took $120 million to work as hard as he possibly could to create a movie that was so bad it would make a joke of the entire film industry. Megalopolis is a joke that Francis Ford Coppola played on all of us. That's the only context that I can think of that justifies the bullshit that my eyeballs looked at. A huge, grandiose effort to make a bad movie. If it's actually not intentionally bad, then it's the most pretentious shit I've ever seen. Somehow, Adam Driver is just so inspired He's such an inspired inventor that he can just freeze time. That is a joke. So stupid. There's a scene where John Voight is in bed and people walk in and he's like, Hey, look at my boner. He says boner. And sure enough, he's got a stiffy under his bed sheet. 
just to reveal that it's a bow and arrow before he shoots somebody. There's not a single person that could possibly take that seriously. That is a fucking joke. Obviously, I don't want you to waste your time or money on this awful movie. In my theater, in the first 15 minutes, two people walked out. And throughout the entire two hours and 20 minutes, I'd say at least 10 more people walked out. The audience that actually stayed, they did laugh a lot. Yeah, that's a good way to put it. This is laughably bad, but not so bad it's good, you know? It's just a bad joke, and I don't want you guys to fall for it. Just don't waste your time, guys, okay? It's so dumb. Okay, see ya. Subscribe! Ugh. Like, the movie ends on a fucking freeze frame. Come on.